sometimes after a long day of getting dirty, getting in the mud, you just want to relax under some shade with a drink. Today we're going to be doing a long term review of the Rhino Rack Batwing Awning. Stay tuned. Hi, my name is Aaron and I want to welcome you to this episode of Big Man Overland. Today we're going to be doing a review of the Rhino Rack Batwing Awning. It can be hard sometimes when you're going out and overlanding and camping to find a spot with great natural shade. It can be nice when you're out camping and overlanding to have a spot that you can set up your chair underneath and have a beverage eat some dinner and just relax without facing the brutal sun. The sun is brutal, it's so hot and sometimes you need to find some respite from the sun and an awning comes in very handy for that. All right, so we got a change of clothes, change of scenery and that is because when I was setting up the awning, it broke. So here we are, another day, the awning is repaired. We're gonna set it up, I wanna show you what it looks like, opened up, ready to go. But then we're also gonna talk about some of the not so great things, like how it broke and other things. So here we go. Now the quick setup like you just saw, takes about a minute. It's a really quick and easy process. Now you'd be looking at around three to four minutes if you want to stake it to the ground, if you want to tie it down. Which the awning does come with some really great stakes and tie downs. So you've got these really thick, heavy duty stainless steel stakes, and you got this really strong nylon rope for each pole. Now the nice thing about the stakes is that they go in in a cross pattern, meaning you don't necessarily need to do the ropes unless you're in high winds. These cross pattern stakes will cause those poles to stay stuck to the ground, even in pretty significant wind. Now let's talk about some things that I like and that I do not like about the Rhino Rack Batwing awning. Things that I like is the height. I am six foot eight and I'm able to clear this no problem, but you can adjust the pitch and the angle because each pole is telescopic. So you can raise it or lower it depending on what you're looking for. If you have rain coming in, you can lower it so the water runs down. If you just need a little extra height, telescope it up, you're good to go. I also like how quick it is to set up. When we're trying to get the kitchen ready, our three kids are running around, a quick awning setup is ideal. And so being able to do this as one individual in about 60 seconds is really, really nice. The awning is lightweight. You can get it onto your roof rack. It only weighs about 60 pounds total with all the mounting hardware. So it's really not too bad to set up and lock down to your roof rack. Now some things I don't like, which there really is just two, is one, the zipper on the case, if you get it muddy at all, it gets stuck. It is a pain in the butt to open and close because of that. So you have to really be mindful of it. Keep it clean. Uh, when you get to your stop, if you need to you know, put some water on a towel, wipe the zipper down. I found myself having to do that way more than I would want to, but the case is a really nice, thick vinyl uh, and so it does keep the awning dry it keeps it secure and safe but man i wish that they would have gone with a much better zipper finally the hinges on this awning they're made of plastic the thing that's getting the most use and abuse is made of plastic. I don't really know why they didn't use stainless steel or even aluminum. It would just make more sense from a longevity standpoint to use a metal. But they went with this plastic and it is what it is. It broke on me. It's the only time that's actually ever broken on me. And that's because a gust of wind came and pushed the poles down. 
you're supposed to be able to set this up freestanding where you just pull it open attach it and then set up your poles um, but that didn't happen for me so here we are but those parts you can get two replacement parts for $16 so you can replace all your hinges for about $35 with tax and shipping so it's really not that bad it's just annoying and I actually do have one more frustration point and that's how you tie down the awning to your rhino rack roof rack if you have a rooftop tent you can't do it it won't attach there's a little like anchor hook that is supposed to attach to the rhino rack pioneer platform and then this strap goes around it however if you have a rooftop tent on top there's nowhere for it to attach. So you have to kind of jerry rig an anchor point. And so what I did is I just took the provided anchor and hardware and I slapped it underneath the roof rack. It works, it's not ideal, but it does hold it still, does hold it in place, and that is really nice. So you've seen the awning break on me, you've seen it open up and set up. Would I buy it again? You know, when I think about all the different awning options, you know, the really strong aluminum base that is like you know a 360 awning i would probably go for one of those if my budget allowed i certainly don't want one of those awnings where you have all the poles that are separate and then you got to pull the awning out set the awning up with the poles and it's just way more cumbersome and i certainly don't want just a single sheet that just folds out from the side because that's only going to be good when the sun's right above you it's not any good when the sun is rising or setting so would I buy the Rhino Rack awning again? Yes, yes I would, uh, even despite the breakage. That's the only time it's ever broken on me. This thing is held up in really good weather, bad weather, winds, snow, rain, sunshine. Keeps my family safe from sunburns, keeps us cool in the hot weather. So yeah, yeah, I would buy the Rhino Rack Batwing awning again. So if you're looking for an awning, you're trying to get yourself some shade from the sun when you're out on the trails, I wanna encourage you to consider the Rhino Rack Batwing awning. It's a 270 degree awning, runs right around that $700 to $800 price range with all the hardware. It's a really sturdy, strong awning despite some of its flaws, but you're never gonna find the perfect product. Thank you so much for tuning in to this episode of Big Man Overland as we do a long-term review of the Rhino Rack 270 degree Batwing awning. Make sure you like, make sure you subscribe, make sure you share, and go ahead and comment if you want to and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time. And as always, adventure is calling. Are you gonna answer?